Okay, I just broke a can. Uh -oh. All right, what's up, dudes? Hope you guys are doing good. We got a great video deck that I'm very happy to bring to you guys at home. So what we're going to be doing today is checking out the proper caps, my favorite caps, to work on the bear cans. Now, for those who don't know, these are available at Home Depot, Lowe's, I believe. I usually go to Home Depot, so I'm not 100% sure, but you know, your general like local hardware store would carry something like this. It's a lower cost alternative to like Rust-Oleum and stuff like that. It used to not be, but something's changed. So I picked a few up to see how they work. I think I broke the valve on this when I threw it, so hopefully we can muddle through this video. But I got a couple other cans over here, so we'll make it happen. No problem whatsoever. So this video is about caps. And what are my favorite caps to use on these cans? So I got a few here lined up. Uh, it looks like a lot of caps, but it's actually just a few different styles. Uh, we have the 24 karat gold cap. That's a black and gold cap. We have the killer bee cap. That's a yellow and black cap. And we have the high output cap, a blue dot with a white hood and the flare cap. Now these are part of our Valspark cap collection because these cans use the similar thick stem that you used to be able to find on the Valspar cans. Now Valspar paint isn't really a thing anymore, so maybe we need to change that description, I guess, but there's a lot of paint out here using these. The Bear cans, uh, I believe the Krylon, Krylon Fusion, if I remember correctly, uses these caps as well too. I know I have a previous video about that. Uh, Rust-Oleum Turbo cans. And, and speaking of which, I don't have a turbo can on me, but if you do pick up a turbo can, definitely get one of these flare caps, because you will be in love. I've covered it in previous videos and it is it is seriously something to behold. This on a turbo is like, boom, explosion of paint in a good way, very, very good way. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, up first is the, did I call this a 24 karat cap? I think I did. Notice a little bit of paint came out. When you put the cap on, it will spray a little bit. That's totally cool. That's totally normal. Now, I've tried a few cans of this bare paint and I have to tell you, I was a little surprised by the black. It, it's okay, you know, it covers fine. I mean, it's definitely better than a dollar can, but I expected a little bit more from a $5 can. Uh, the flares are not buttery. As you can see here, they come out a little bit feathery, uh, but with the 24 karat cap, you can definitely get some nice fine lines with it. So it's a doable black, uh, but given the choice, I would probably pick like a painter's touch or a Rust-Oleum can if I were gonna go with domestic paint when it comes to black. If this is the only option, use it, you know, you gotta use what you gotta use. Um, but given the choice, I would probably go a different route with that. That said, if you got it, the 24 karat cap will definitely give you those nice fine lines. Now, let's take a look at the Killer B. Killer B, uh, this is actually a pretty nice cap. It's a little bit high output. That's just my finger getting in the way right there. Uh, you get a little bit high output, but you can still get a little bit of a flary line with it like that. Uh, again, kind of on the feathery side with the black. And, and I want you to look at this really quick here. I want you to look at this. This is the teal which I was worried that I damaged. Oh, damn, I did damage it. <laughs> this was the piece de resistance. Here's the thing. Okay, I dropped this can on the ground trying to juggle it, so the stem got pushed in, and now the caps won't mount. Look at that. But here's the thing. We could put a flare cap on it, even though I damaged it. Still works. That's why I like these kind of caps. Oh, I really did break it, didn't I? Well, guys, this is part of the movie magic here today. Sometimes you're trying to have a little bit of fun, add a little bit of spice to the video, and you break the product that you're supposed to be uh, featuring. And this is a good opportunity for me to tell you guys about why I hate mail cans. If you do something like this, like drop your can, it's ruined. Now, now I'm gonna have to smash it with a rock and spray a wall with it. Uh, I can't do that here, obviously, but I'll take it out to the train yard, have some fun with it. So let's go ahead and get a yellow. Not gonna be quite as bright on the surface, but you can see it. Okay, so this is the flare cap. As you can see, you get a nice flare to a nice fine point. Now, this yellow actually covers pretty good. I was fairly surprised with it, you know, considering how crappy the black was. And actually, this teal is excellent, and I'm very bummed that I can't show it to you guys, so I'll have to do another video soon with that. Um, but this yellow cover is not too bad. I mean, I was pretty surprised. Like, you know, I would put it on par with like a good painter's touch yellow. It covers good, everything looks nice. Uh, it's got nice luminosity, you know, the color quality is good. You can't go wrong with it. So anyways, that's the flare cap. And then right here is the high output cap. And in case you didn't notice from our previous video, the Steve Garvey's bleeding through again. 
Gotta love that stuff. Okay, I'm gonna do this one right-handed. So we're just doing cap test here. The flare cap, you may not notice it in the video, but in person I can clearly see it. Where the flare is a little bit more feathery, the, uh, the, the high output cap gives you a much wider volume of paint. So more paint is actually coming out of the can. It may not look as fat, but you're getting more coverage. So if you're doing throw ups, the high output cap may be the cap that you're looking for. So, you know, it's, it's a little bit of a personal choice thing, what you like to use, but you know, for like thin tips, great cap right here, look at this. And look at the line quality we're getting. It's actually not bad for a thin cap, the 24 karat. So all in all, I've been pretty happy with this paint for the price, although the black is just not cracking. I don't know what they're doing with this black, but I mean, it's like dollar store quality. Not that good. So let's uh, let's do this. Let me uh, let me grab a high output cap here. We we're gonna do like yellow and blue, but kind of messed up here. All good. We'll do some kind of ignorant style graffiti here. Do a skull. <laughs> let's see. Shout out to all the Tims out there. All right, and what were we doing on the top of that? So that gets a little bit of a angle right there, like that. Nice. Okay, and this is why I like the high output cap. It just lays down the paint. Look at that yellow though. I mean, you're getting a little bit of black bleeding through, but not bad at all. I mean, it's really, it's really laying down nice and thick. That is really nice. Remember, this is a cheaper paint. Shout out to Tim. All right, I guess we'll just do all yellow for the film so you guys can check it out. But I will tell you, I really do enjoy using this flare cap. It works really good on these cans. All right, let's go ahead and try outlining it here. Let's try out this uh, 24 karat cap. Oh wait, this is the one that I dropped. Ah, what a bummer. I really wanted to show you guys that teal. But this is actually kind of a blessing in disguise because you could really see how well that yellow went down for a cheap yellow. I mean, you can't really complain. Now what I gotta say is your results are definitely gonna vary. There may be some uh, bare colors that are really terrible. I don't know yet, I haven't tried every single one. So if you pick up a color that we haven't featured in my videos and you're like, yo, this paint sucks, give the other colors a chance. Um, it's just like that with paint lines, like some paints are better than other within a paint line. I, I would say like Belton, Molotov, they're really strong with the blues and the greens and the pinks. Uh, Montana has like all the flesh tones really fleshed out. <laughs> Um, you know, it just depends on the brand. So let's go ahead and check this out real quick. Now it does have that kind of delay. I am feeling it. I'm feeling it. It's not too bad. But the, the black, the black definitely doesn't cover very good. It's like a dollar can paint in my eyes. It's not the most covering at all. Now, when I use a thin paint like this, I actually prefer to use a fatter cap. So why don't we go ahead and switch to the flare. See how it outlines with the flare cap. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that's better. A cap that can keep up with me. Oh man, what a difference, what a difference a cap makes, right? Just a huge difference. One cap and we're already at the races. Oh man, that's what I'm talking about.
Okay. First off, um, this paint actually does dry a lot quicker than I thought. We're actually getting a pretty good dry time. Uh, let's do a quick little cut back here. Even though I know you guys never do cutbacks, nobody ever does cutbacks, ever. Ever. But if you do decide to do cutbacks, uh, this is a great way to kind of clean up your lines a bit. You know, just give it a little bit of work. Clean up your lines. You'll be a happy camper. I'll leave the skull as it is. You know, you actually don't have to clean up your lines. Uh, there, there is an aesthetic of not cleaning up your lines, but I like to kind of show what you can do with the cap, so here we are, right? All right. Okay, Tim. All right, guys, I gotta tell you, I am actually quite impressed with this yellow. This is a, uh, what's the name of it? Where did they put the name? Oh, Blazing Bonfire. This is actually pretty good. I mean, you know, considering the yellows that we have to deal with with American paint, especially the Krylon yellows, which are just absolutely horrible, this is pretty decent. And you know, I actually found out something here. They're made in Canada. These aren't made in the United States. So that's probably why they're a little bit cheaper. But as you can see, um, I ended up using mostly the flare cap for this. It seems to be the best option. And I think you guys will like it too. Let's, uh, let's do some shines on this just to see how it looks with the white, the white. You guys ever see that uh, family guy when Stewie was saying white? Hmm. That's actually not bad. It's a very, it's a very dusty white. That is for sure. It's got a lot of dust, but coverage wise, it's not bad at all. I would definitely use this white, for sure. Okay, wow, pleasantly surprised. This white is pretty decent. Definitely get this white, this bare white, the flat white, it's really good. Uh, again, it's a little bit on the dusty side, but with the flare cap, you're gonna get some really nice solid lines. I mean, really, I can't complain. This is actually kind of tight, I should hit up Tim. It's kind of fun. Um, wow. All in all, pretty impressed. But really, dude, you, <laughs> if you can't get a decent black, then, then what are you even doing? You know, that's like your corner. You know, you got a good white, make the black good. You know what I'm saying? Just make it black. So anyways, I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, I did want to read a couple comments on your previous video. So let's, uh, let's take a look here. Let's see what everyone's got to say because, you know, we've been kind of getting back into the groove of things again. Um, <clears throat> let me give you some shout outs here. Let's see, previous video was about Marsh Inc. Everyone's really excited about it. I had a couple questions, why the quartz are so expensive. Um, if you read the description of the quartz, those are actually dead stock. They're not made anymore. They don't make the quartz. So those are made probably like five or six years ago. It's like uh, buying a pair of vintage Nikes. You know what I mean? They're gonna cost you a lot. But if you want just regular Marsh, get the small bottles, that's new stock. Uh, adjusted for inflation, they're about the same price as they were 10 years ago adjusted for inflation as we go so got a couple questions right there um let's see uh mr and mrs p said gr you should do a video on what a writer must have for a perfect night of bombing and i think that's an excellent idea so maybe vivian and i will work on that video um you know you guys give me great ideas for stuff all the time so we'll definitely check that out so shout out to mr and mrs p um kt wants to know anyone know if i can pour a little white marsh into a blue pilot jumbo um the inks are compatible, but if you put a pigment ink into a uh, tampon style marker, it will clog it up. So make sure you use like a free flowing valve marker. So put the pilot ink into your uni rod with the marsh ink, and then you'll have something that really works great. So remember that pump action for the painting inks, very important. Uh, Soli Cook says, what does GR do when he's not doing videos? I make a lot of pizza. Uh, Neza Wooden wants to know about white magic ink. Unfortunately, it's RAP, homie. We're not gonna be getting it back. Although we said that about Marsh, so that may change as well too. But definitely check out the White Marsh. If you like the White Magic Ink, the White Marsh will definitely do it for you as well. Uh, 700 Mark IV wants to know about Black Book videos if we're bringing them back. Uh, if we get our shit together, we definitely will bring back the Black Book videos because I know you guys really like those. Uh, and then Nardo says, Fighting the Buff XD Heart. I feel you, homie. So anyways, uh, 
Oh, wait, hold on. Fix and says, is being toy okay? Hey, I'm doing all right. Look at me. I'm doing great. So anyways, thank you very much, guys. I got to go. Hopefully this kind of give you guys some ideas about these caps. Uh, I think they're great. The, the bear paints are pretty decent, but again, it's a crap shoot. Like always, you just got to find the right colors for you. Okay, thank you. Bye.